What's going on everybody? I'm Kevin from Cigar Prop and it is Friday evening. When I wake up tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, I don't have anything to do. I have nothing to do on the lounge. We are done. With that being said, we're done for the most part. We're still waiting for some signage. Illusione is going somewhere about right there uh, when I get the sign. But let's take a little tour of the place. I got all the fans turned off, uh, so I'd uh, keep the, uh, uh, um, uh, the noise down a little bit. That's why I might get a little hazy in here. So smoke eaters or all the rabbit airs are turned down. We're gonna start off with those. I actually had a buddy of mine, Brian, in today. Uh, he drove me up to the lumber yard with this trailer and we picked up all the Spanish cedar uh, for the for the new walk-in humidor. And uh, he hadn't seen this in a long time. Um, and he came in, he's looking around, he's sitting down. And uh, at one point he goes, I don't smell any cigar smoke in here. Rabbit air, baby. We got three of them inside the lounge here. We got one of them in my, in my office. We do have the Fantech inline duck fans as well. We're still waiting to get those tested. Um, even Jessica and I haven't had a chance to sit down and smoke a cigar in here together. So the rabbit airs keep up, even if I turn everything off, like I said, I, it doesn't get smoky in here because it's just me. So let's take a tour. So this is a, a little seating area uh, that Jessica uh, set up. Uh, it went, when we have uh, people over, We'll be able to pull this away from the wall a little bit so you can sit around uh, all four sides. And as you're sitting here uh, smoking, um, we'll have the rabbit air right above where you're smoking to suck in that, that smoke uh, to help clean the air. Everything, I, we, we thought about this, it's taken two years, but it's given us two years to think about every little thing. Placement of everything was so important to us. Um, like I said, we got the, uh, the walk-in humidor over there. That's, that's an October project. So that, that's, uh, that's uh, a little bit different. We got our old steampunk humidor. If you want to check more about, about that, we got it on our YouTube channel. Uh, it's called my steampunk humidor tour. Uh, we do have our Dunbarton side of the lounge over there. Um, Absolutely love it. Uh, there is that little thing in the middle there. That's actually Rocky Patel's thing, Jessica won. It's like the first big thing she's won. It opens up, it's got all this cool stuff inside of it. So she decided to place it over there because it kind of matches with that. We got our uh, New Air ice maker, our New Air humidors, our New Air uh, beverage cooler. And stop teasing me about my furniture. Stop sending me messages and Ohio State memes about my furniture. This is all I can afford right now. So hopefully by the end of the year, uh, we'll have a little bit of I Tat That Cigar Show advertising money saved up so we can actually buy some furniture. Um, this, this project has, has almost busted and broke. Not only me, Jessica and I, uh, the, the heated, um, discussions about things. Uh, it, it's just, and then the, the cost overruns, nightmare, been a nightmare. So we got the TV, we got the Drew Estate uh, uh, barrel bar, because remember this is the Drew Estate Experience Acid Studio and Lounge. Um, we still have this table over here. We got some pipe fittings on here from some of the shelves. We still don't know what we're gonna do with this. We just had it and it's cool. We got our other rabbit air over there. We got our blackout curtains installed uh, finally yesterday. Um, and then if you saw my other pictures, we got the, the FSG, uh, the, uh, the, the boxes. I definitely wanted to make sure I represent FSG here, not only because Corona Cigar, Jeff Borschwitz, been a huge, huge supporter of ours. Um, that cigar I smoke an absolute ton of. Uh, and, like, and like I said, in the, I think, I don't know if there's a picture or video, I have enough to do another one of those. That's how many of those. Uh, I smoke. Um, over there in the corner, we got a uh, room 101 represented. It's Boofy, baby. Uh, another rabbit air. Slightly off to the side, so as Jessica and I are doing our show, uh, we'll have a rabbit air over here. 
hopefully with the airflow that, that we're thinking that we got going on, it should push the smoke right into there and keep the room a little smoke free. And here we go. We got the, we got our, our LED guy uh, out today. Um, uh, he's got the LEDs behind the shutter board that goes over here. You can see the light glow sticking out from either side. Um, we do have, we finally got the last of our um, toolbox tins in today. Um, so this is kind of our Drew Estate, um, uh, whatever shrine, uh, if you will. We've got all of the, uh, uh, the, 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 the towers. We even got the little, the little FSG tower. I don't know if anybody else that has this. I want to give a big shout out to Bob the Cigar Guy. He gave me this years ago. Um, I've never seen another one. I don't know if it's the only one, but thank you, Bob, for, uh, for, for giving me this because that was uh, planned out, I think, well before any of these. So um, it definitely goes well with the collection. Um, we got our Drew Estate Acid Cigars uh, pegboard. We got our, uh, we got our long boards. Somebody tagged Sammy in that. Um, and then obviously our Drew Estate sign, uh, uh, the, the lighted LED. We got our Hoya. We do have our Drew Diplomat sign that is over there that will be going up above there. And let's, uh, let's head over here. Let's take a walk together. We do have our big Drew Estate ashtray. Uh, it's got drawers that come out. Um, we've got all of our, all of the ashtrays that go in the, the, the toolbox tins. So we're not quite sure what we're gonna, I'm gonna put my ashtray or my cigar in that one because Jessica might kill me if we actually use that ashtray. Some people have been asking what's going on with the shelf over here. We don't know what we're doing. I just put a lot of our extras over here. So Jessica still has to go through this and figure out what she wants to do with it. But we got a ton of these uh, uh, Corona cigar uh, uh, snifters. Sn is it a snifter? I don't know what it's called. We even got one from the Red Meat Lovers Club. Um, little United cigar. You actually ash, put your cigar in there, and then the smoke will actually come up through his mouth. Um, our, our Room 101 uh, ashtray. We got some beautiful, beautiful ashtrays up there. If I pull them down, I'm gonna break something, so I'm not gonna pull them all down. We do have one. I don't know where I got this one from. Uh, this is actually a, a Macanudo, but it's a Waterford Crystal. So uh, I remember, uh, I remember that as a kid, like that being something like fancy and expensive. Um, I don't know where I got these either. These are uh, uh, Fuente glasses, like gold rim, and then I don't you know it's like gold or like gold or brown glass inside there. So I've got another one, another one here, got a gold rim on it. No idea where I where I got these from. I just found these in our in our cigar collection. Um, but uh, they're uh, Fuente, Fuente, so I know they're, they're, they're probably really expensive. Um, but yeah, that's just uh, some, some random stuff that we have up there right now. And like I said, we've just gotta, gotta go through that and rearrange everything and figure out what we're gonna put on there. And we got some sign, like I said, more signage to put up. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is it. This is, uh, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're done. Um, for my inaugural cigar of not having to do anything in this is the Drew Estate Nika Rustica. Um, everybody knows I'm a huge fan of Nika Rustica. I love this one even more. I won this one in a bet. I beat somebody in an arm wrestling uh, match and uh, this was the, uh, uh, the bet. And uh, so that makes it even that much more sweeter. Um, he's a big guy too, but not very strong. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is it. I want to thank everybody for, for following us on this journey. All the videos we've made over the years, all the updates. Um, some people ask, would you do this again? No, never again. Uh, buy a shed from, uh, from Home Depot, convert it, save yourself like $75,000 and do it that way. So all right, everybody, I'm going to kick back. It's been a long day. Enjoy this Nika Rustica and, um, 
We'll see you on the next video.